This is uh, one that uh, is quite is a bit poetic in a way, and um, we call it the, the this experiment the clear pool. And uh, who's not done this one? You, you've, oh, okay, all right. So it involves uh, being in pairs, and one person lies down, and um, uh, the other person washes in the clear pool. So, best to do it, I think. All right, so we need to be in pairs. Um, yeah. So I'll pro I'm going to join in in this, I think. Cause Shall I do it with you? All right. So uh, one person lies down. So if you lie down, and I'll just talk. Yeah, anywhere. Just so you're comfortable. You're kidding. More or less. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Have you got a partner? Not with John. Yeah. So one of you needs to lie down. So if you lie down, lie down. Chris, because you've got that um, camera on your head there, yes. Okay. So the other person, just move away. You're going to be out there, you're going to kneel by their head, but just for the moment move away. And I'll just talk uh, the person into it um, who's lying down. So if you're lying down, you need to open your eyes and then uh, and just uh, look up in the sun there. Yeah. Yep. So op have your eyes open and look up. And so the, the single eye uh, is a name for who you really are, for this openness where you are. We call it lots of names, the void, the emptiness, the stillness. We just did an experiment with that. And another name is uh, clear pool, the clear pool. It's a poetic kind of thing. And um, the idea here is that you are the clear pool and you're looking out of it. And as you look out of your single eye now, instead of calling it single eye, we call it clear pool. There's a few very special things about this clear pool I'd like you to notice. Uh, obviously, it's absolutely clear. Uh, as you look into it, you see uh, no uh, pollution. And this clear pool that you are, especially, it has no edge. It's not got uh, anything around it. And um, it's got no bottom to it. As you look down into it, into yourself, you find no bottom, no rocks on the bottom. You look forever down into it. And it's absolutely still. There's no movement in it, no fish in it. Clear. So you don't have to do anything but just consciously be the clear pool, if you like. And the other person is going to come and wash in you. You don't have to react. It's not a communication exercise. So the other person comes and you stand near the head and you pretend to look down. Don't look at their eyes, it's not communication. Just look down around their head or their forehead. They have the experience now of you looking into the clear pool. It's huge. And now you just kneel down by their head and you're going to dip your hands into, you, you are imagining this, they're experiencing it, into the clear pool. So you just test it. You put your arms in, see no ripples, no pollution, and you can bring them out. And then you can pretend to sort of dip in and wash your face or drink. Being the clear pool, it, you remain absolutely clean, clear, still.
And um, when you've done that for just a few moments, you can stand up and just stand near their head. And uh, from that point of view, your feet will be disappear. your legs will be standing in the clear pool. And then just walk uh, around their body, fairly close to their body. And from that point of view, you're kind of paddling without any ripples. And just go right round. Clear pool, vast, still, totally calm. And then just move away. There's only one clear pool, there isn't a second. There you are being the clear pool. So now we change over and the other person lies down. If you're lying down, have your eyes open. And um, this is a non-verbal experience, but we give it names. We give it names and we call it the single eye or the stillness or the emptiness, or we can call it the, the still pool. So, eyes open, be aware of your single eye here, of this still pool. You are the still pool. And it's a very special pool. It's the only one. You don't find a second one. You can't say how big it is, you can't compare it, or what shape it is, or how deep it is. There's nothing to compare it with. You look down into it, you look forever. There's no bottom to it. It's absolutely clean, there's no pollution in it. It's still fantastic, unique. With no effort, it's just the way you are. So now the other person is just going to move near your head and you're going to first pretend to look in the clear pool. Don't look, don't, it's not communication. So if you're lying down you'll see a face appear to be looking down into this clear pool. And then you can kneel and just put your arms in the pool. See no ripples no pollution and just play a little bit you can drink or wash no movement in the pool And then just uh, stand up and slowly walk around. They, from their point of view, you'll know they'll be just kind of paddling in the, you know, the source, the this unique water. They call it the water of life, don't they? The source, the your true nature, the water of life. And then, uh, once you've done that, just move away. And if you're lying down, you, you, it takes no effort. It's your true nature to be this. Totally calm, no ripples, no pollution, no limits, unique. You're the only pool. In a way, you reflect everything.
Okay. All right. That was good. It's good to do it then. Yeah. When um when when John sort of walked up and started sort of pedaling in the pool, um, there was a perception of him just as another animal. Um, sort of shorn uh, like a human but without any human associations, just seen actually quite objectively just as this creature without the usual sort of at the water hole yeah 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 a bit hard to put it into words it was just a sort of perception It was an amazing experience to be in the water and the headless part was just the water and then you coming in to bathe in the water to wash or enjoy and just looking up and seeing you, you really are the water, the flow mm -hmm. and it was an amazing experience which left me feeling so relaxed and mm. alive. Mm. Any other reflections on that? So I noticed that when a person moves their hand, and you, so we've all had the experience of doing that ourselves and putting our hands in the water ourselves. But when you're the pool and you're you're the water, but you still you don't even see ripples. You just see this um, so still and so empty and just um, yeah, just watching the flow of life, I suppose. And, there's nothing you can do, you're just watching and you're just allowing it all to happen. It's quite graceful, I find. Mm. thinking that um, partly because you guys are going and you haven't done this one I think the tube is a good one to experience uh, so do um, other things after lunch uh, so